I want to talk about four things a wife loves in her husband and four things a husband loves in a wife. I think there's more, but I'm just going to say these four. If you can do them, ah, oh, mashallah, you'll have a beautiful life, enjoyable one with your spouse in every way, inshallah. So four things a wife loves in her husband. These are not from me. I've done lots of research in this area, long years from experts and Muslim judges who talked about it. This is decades of research. I'm just summarizing for you, you know, putting it on a plate for you, inshallah. <laughs> Number one, the four things a wife loves in her husband. They said she loves when he defends her, protects her, and supports her. A wife loves to see that in her husband. Even if she doesn't admit it, she likes it. A husband who defends her, protects her, and supports her. Number two, he listens to her, listens to when, listens to her, meaning that doesn't mean he has to obey everything, listens. As in when she says, he listens. He listens to her emotions, he listens to her words, he listens to her, and he's patient with listening, and he talks to her. So, yeah, honey, brothers, when your wife is listening, to, when you're listening to your wife, throw in another word whenever you get a break to show her that you have been listening. Wallahi, think about yourself. When, when, when somebody listens to what you're saying and then they say, so, so this is what you said, you feel special that they actually gave value to your words. Even if they disagree, they gave value to your words. Think about that. Number three, she loves the husband to be tender, physic, to give her tender physical touches. Yeah, and he like this, little hug, kiss on the forehead. Tender physical men. Did you hear what I said? Don't think too far. You've got to go tender, physical touches and be gentle as a general thing. Number four, he compliments her and shows her interest. He compliments her and shows her that he's interested in her. The newness goes away after six months, one year. You guys are going to get a little bit bored of that. No, you've got to keep going, inshallah. Renew it. Try other ways. Number five, makes her feel secure and safe that he will not leave her and look for another woman. This is the biggest fear women have, Muslim and non-Muslim, that their husband's going to betray them. And I think that's the reason, which is wrong, why some women think that they tell each other this. I've heard it. I know the insides and outs of these things. We hear this stuff. And they say to each other, hey, don't show him that you love him too much because he'll leave you. These men, they'll look other way, but keep him on edge. This is wrong, brothers and sisters. Now we go to the four things a husband loves in his wife. Number one, on top of the list, there is nothing more important than this number one, sisters. Respect. Now you might say, but what about me? I need respect too. Yes. The respect we're talking about with the man is a little bit different. It's a little bit stronger. It's a little bit more serious. What are we talking about respect here? Respect his leadership. Respect that he's your protector. Respect that he's your provider. The duty which Allah gave him, that one extra degree. Respect that. Don't put him down. Don't say, look at, look at your brother. Look at those other guys. They buy this and that for their uh, wives. You're nothing. You're a stingy person, among other words. You're a lazy, fat, obnoxious, blah, blah, blah. You never, never, never. Yachti, really? Never? Come on. At least one out of a thousand. Never? Always? You always... They never always take it easy. At the same time, men, just let it go. Don't, don't hold on to those words. That's how women, uh, they like to express. That's fine. But sister, respect. Respect his, uh, the fact that he is the leader of the house, the protector, and the maintainer. I think sisters understand this in their nature. Number two, the man likes uh, his wife to look good for him. He likes his wife to look good for him. This creates a bond in your relationship. The biggest thing a man hates is when a wife looks bad for him at home and looks good for everyone else outside. She looks amazing outside. And then he starts thinking. The shaitan comes to him, sisters, and he says to the man, look at her. She's not really there for you. What did you get married for? When she's outside, everyone enjoys the way she looks. When she's inside, you don't get to enjoy the way she looks. And that's when he starts looking elsewhere. So this is Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhu. He used to say, uh, when, he used to, when, when people visited him, he would open the door and he would look really nice, more, better than outside. And they said to him, why do you do that, Ibn Abbas? He says, 
إني أحب أن أتزين لزوجتي كما تتزين لي. I like to look good for my wife as she looks good for me. So that's very important. Number four shows confidence in him and his abilities. So the sister appreciates his efforts, she appreciates his help, she appreciates his tiredness. I said this last time that randomly say to your husband, just out of the blue, once every week, once every two weeks, once every three weeks, once every month, I appreciate your effort. Wallah, I couldn't do it without you. Subhanallah, the stuff that you're doing, say it. He's your husband, say it. Wallahi, you will pump him up and he make him amazing. Your words go a long way. Don't get stingy with words. He's your husband. For a man, it means a lot. I'm telling you, it means a lot. Number four, she speaks well of him to her family and his family. She doesn't go to her mum and dad and says, man, he's, he's a this and he's a that, and complains night and day. No, 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 no. You will make your life hell. Not from him, from your family. Every time you get along with your husband, you go back, <laughs> what? He, did, he doesn't deserve it. And your sisters play a role, your brothers play a role, your father and mother play, your cousins play a role. If suddenly everybody's involved in your life. Why? Because you let it out. You went and told them. Same with the husbands. And lastly, physical touches. Men love physical touches from their wife. 